Today we are testing banned NBA products, starting out with this $500 dunking shoe that literally has springs in them and a carbon fiber plate. Oh, the fire. And we have $100 carbon fiber insoles. And if we combine that with the banned shoes, I should be a dunking machine. Let's test it out. First, we're gonna do the control, just wearing some Nike Giannis shoes. Okay, now let's try on the band shoes. Ooh, band. Let's see why they're banned. Oh, damn. Inch and a half higher, that's a lot. I got up. I may as well dunk it. My ankle. In 2009, Dwayne Wade came out looking like this. My boy has two band-aids on his face, not for medical purposes, but as a fashion statement. Dwayne Wade looked extremely cool in the game, just like Johnny does right now. Stop, stop. <laughs> he got buckets just like Johnny will. Right after the game, they banned wearing band-aids as a fashion statement. NBA, please unban at least the Peppa Pig edition. Next product. When LeBron was in Miami, he wore a black carbon fiber face mask and after the game, the NBA banned it. They banned black masks and the carbon fiber. This is a $200 mask, that's 40. The reason they banned it was because of the viewer experience. Lame. That is lame. I think the players look sick when they're wearing a mask. So I feel like it makes the viewing elevated. Let me try to hoop with this thing. I bet you didn't even know it was me the whole time. Johnny? Where did Bruce Wayne go? Johnny is currently wearing an item banned by the NBA. Can you guess what it is? Huh, is it behind me? It's his jersey. You are not allowed to wear the number 69. It's banned. Dennis Rodman, when he went to the Mavericks, he requested 69 and they said, absolutely not, no. It's a sexual number and the NBA doesn't want to offend any fans. Now, let's see what would happen if an NBA player really did pull up on the court with a 69 jersey. Check up. What up, Dennis? Please. Oh. No numbers like this in my arena. Ah! Ah! <laughs> now we're gonna react to a play that probably wouldn't fly in today's NBA. Dwayne Wade drives in, kicks the defender, gets the and one. In a playoff game, he in the fourth the quarter with a minute and a half left, he accosted a man. We need a replay. Okay, he's going down. Oh, he definitely did kick him. Yeah, he kicks him. Especially with the rules how they are now, that is definitely an offensive foul. Yeah. You can't kick someone. Yeah, Draymond Green ruined that for everybody. Let's try and reenact it. I call not getting kicked. All right, well, I call the, the, the uh, referee. Too bad, buddy. <laughs> it was! Hey, hey, whistle, 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 that's a foul. Ref, he kicked me. Maybe. He kicked me! Yep. That's a four point swing! Sam won, bro. Five point swing if he hit the free throw! I don't wanna hear it. You might as well give me a You might as well give me a Tech! Tech! Bro! That's an and one! Oh yeah! Bro! 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 It's banned. I'm about to show you how you can get banned at an NBA game, but first pretend I'm a player. I'm taking my shot. <laughs> Hey, don't shoot that. Scare me! Time me he up. shot the ball. He shot the ball and he was sleeping. I was not. Get him out. Bro, what the heck is going on? As a fan, you are not allowed to take a shot from the sideline. You are not allowed to get caught sleeping. Gideon just got banned doing that. Ah! Ah! What's going on back there? Had to beat him up real quick. Another product banned from NBA arenas is a laser pointer. Fans would shine the laser on the opposing team and try to shine it in players' eyes, which is super dangerous or distract them. Like, let's say Johnny was taking a free throw. I was a fan on the side. Look at this. How is he meant to shoot with this, bro? This would be a crazy distraction. Look at that, he missed. It's overpowered and it's banned. In the early 2000s, long basketball shorts were getting way too popular and the NBA banned them. You're not allowed to have shorts this length. These are too long. Too swaggy. I mean, no. They may have been swaggy back in the day, but they are not it anymore. The best shorts in the world are the Buck Squad shorts, which you can get on BuckSquad.com. The absolute best basketball shorts in the game. Got all different types of colorways going on. The neons, you had them underneath. What a surprise. So if you want to get some, BuckSquad.com. The NBA just banned this. Flapping. Let's try it. Thank you. 
Yo! <laughs> he slapped me! <laughs> All right, let's check out the next clip we got here. We got Russell Westbrook, Westbrook. driving. Throws okay. the ball to the backboard. Perk! Oh my God, he's sitting on him. All right, we're gonna recreate it. I call getting sat on. Okay, that's fine with me. I'll sit on you. Dude, my rib cage. Oh, that's my bad. Whoa! Security! Yeah, get this guy out of here. He's trying to take my legs out. You sat on me. Yeah, he tried to take my legs out. In 2011, Dwayne Wade was having some really bad migraines because of light exposure at the games, so he pulled out these bad boys. Tinted sunglasses. Sheesh. And they were banned. The reason they're banned, it's a competitive advantage. Johnny's guarding me. He doesn't know which way I'm looking, which is very valuable. It's pretty much like I'm doing a 24-7 no-look pass, no-look shot. Pretty overpowered, to be honest. Which way am I going? Oh. Fuck it. These are great. Dude, not fair. I was looking at his eyes and his eyes were like not even there. And the next band product is this And One Supreme Grip Basketball. This is the grippiest basketball of all time. What? This will actually tell if it's Supreme Grip, which one will last longer. <sighs> I'm trying my absolute best right now not to drop it. No. Honestly, I feel like the grip doesn't work. It's slippery. Yeah, this product's banned, but it's trash. NBA's not gonna use a trash basketball. Come on now, next product. I just did something that is banned for NBA players to do. Can you guess what it is? Uh, run through a wall. Wrong. It is jumping on a trampoline. In players' contracts, it says you're not allowed to do that because it is so dangerous. Have you ever seen an NBA player on a trampoline? Don't think so. Trampolines can also give you a competitive advantage. Let's say I'm on the fast break. I throw down the trampoline. Fortnite. Hey. Wow, that sounded very nice. You want to know why it sounded very nice? Because it is a banned metal chain net. These are banned from the NBA for obvious reasons. It's metal, it could hurt someone. <laughs> now we're going to do a sound test between the metal and regular net. Let's do it. I like that. I feel like the metal net is a very like cash, like. Yeah. Let me get it on the regular net. See which one sounds better. That was pretty nice as well. It's one of the best sounds on planet Earth. So buttery smooth. Me personally, I think I like the chain sound better, but I would way rather hoop on a regular net. Big ball celebration. This celebration was banned by the NBA. Oh, it's LeBron James. And LeBron's got the ball. He's gonna do it. Yep, the little F you. Bang. Hits it, and look at that celebration. He's holding his nuts. And then he points at him. Mm -hmm. All over Miles Turner. The big ball celebration. It's actually a hard celebration. And LeBron gets a foul called on him. Yeah, technical. technical foul for the celebration. Too sexual. Little nuts. That's illegal! Tech! Your balls are not that big, buddy. No <laughs> balls, bro. Ref! Hey, hey, hey. Tech, thank you. I'm allowed to do it on oh, the ref. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Loud. In 2016, J.R. Smith pulled up to an NBA game on a hoverboard, and after the game, they banned them, probably because things like this can happen. Johnny, POV, you are the owner of the team, and I'm the star player. How would you feel about this? Hey, get off that hoverboard. Do with your own legs. If I get injured, I'm still getting my whole salary. No, you're not. I say that's banned from the NBA. What? Security! Hey. Star player of the... Hey. Hey. It's the hoverboard or your contract, and he chose the wrong one. Ah! Oh my god, they're beating him up. Hey, security hands off! In 1984, Michael Jordan debuted the Air Jordan 1s. He wore these in NBA games, and every time he wore them, the NBA fined him $5,000 because the main color of the shoe wasn't white. At the time, that was a rule. So Nike actually paid his fine every single game, which was genius because they made like billions of dollars off billions the Jordans. and millions! So yeah, these were banned in the NBA for a bit. Now they cost you a ton of money to get. My babies. In 2016, Matthew Della Vadova wore an athletic band which tracks your heart rate, health, different things like that, or it could be like a Fitbit, and the NBA banned them completely. You're not allowed to wear them. If you got hit in the face by this, it would probably be pretty bad. We're gonna test out the band with some real stakes. I'm gonna shoot three-pointers. Every time I miss, Johnny's gonna shoot me with the gel blaster. See if my heart rate spikes. You better make it. I'm a little scared. Good. Oh, God. Ow! Damn, so my heart rate spikes when I miss. It's going up currently as we speak. Okay, I mean, I am a little nervous. Fuck it. Ow. 98, 100, 103. Yeah, 
Ah! Don't miss. I won't. Ah! <laughs> I switched it. No, I didn't see that. Next product. Another product banned in NBA arenas is aerosol cans. This one is a multi-purpose duster. Shoots out air. I'm gonna try to use it on you. What do you mean use it on me? Saying my shot's dusty? Saying you need some air. <laughs> hey, it's kind of cold. <laughs> yeah! Kind of felt like Marilyn Monroe a little bit. Oh. No! And this product that I'm holding on to right now is banned by the NBA. You cannot bring this into games. What is it? It's a selfie stick. It would be so annoying if the person behind you was reaching over like this, getting some selfie shots. And imagine if a player had this. Check up. Jesus. <laughs> Not today. Locked by Jesser. Jeez. <laughs> what I have here is a air horn, which is banned from the NBA as a fan. You can't bring them in also as a player because you don't bring in air horns. It distracts the players too much because that is loud. It's like a sound bomb that hits you in the ear. So I'm gonna take five shots without that going on. See how I do. Then we'll take five shots with it going on to show why it's banned. Shot number uno. That's what I'm talking about. Shot number two. Oh my God. This guy looks like Tyler Hero out there. Oh man. Smoking hot. I love when it's so quiet you can hear the net. Just like this. Mm. Five? No, that would've been too good. Four out of five, that's pretty good. Wait till I break out my secret weapon. Now Johnny can use the air horn. Here we go. That is so loud. Gotta shoot it quick. Messing with me. Can't catch me off guard, I'm watching him. Stop that. Yeah! I gotta lock in. Mamba mentality. Like he's gonna anticipate it. Oh. Yeah, I thought there was an air horn coming. I did. Got him. Now I'm getting closer. Now he's like right behind me. If I really focus, I can make it. <laughs> We're done. Ban that fan! Security! Get him out of here! You can't do this to me. Let's go. You don't know my father. You don't know my father. There are certain things players use to get extra grip on their hands. For example, LeBron does the powder toss with the chalk, but these two items in particular are banned by the NBA for getting grip. The first one is the sports tacky towel. It's like a sticky, moist towel. I don't think I've ever felt a sticky, moist towel before. Try it. My grip is definitely a lot better. Dude, it smells. This actually works really well. You can hear it. Ready for this? Oh. Like barely gripping the ball. Damn, my handles are so tight now. Oh my god! Until they're not. I got the ultimate gripping solution: dry hands. This looks not great. No. <laughs> Smell like hand sanitizer. It's very pungent. I feel like your hands are getting whiter too. Looking like just the laser right now. White hands right there. Not gonna lie, I feel slipperier. More slippery. Yes. It's getting on the ball, so that would definitely be a problem. I would be pretty pissed if the basketball I was using had sticky stuff on it. So it makes sense that it's a banned product. Oh! Now we're gonna check out a band move, the Yugo Step. I don't even know what this is. What just happened? Whoa. Why is that band? Maybe because when you do a hop step, you oh. have to put both feet down. It's like a, a hop step one, two. That seems like it'd be a good move. I can see why it's banned. Because you think you automatically can go to the other foot, but it goes the same foot. You wanna try that? I'll try it. I feel like I could get away with this in the rec league, so I gotta master this. Did I do it? I've never seen the move. That was the first time I've seen it, so I guess. I think I did it. Comment below if you think he did it right. And if he's banned from the NBA. That's why I'm not in the league. Thank you guys for watching. If you're a hooper, guys, make sure to check out BucketSquad.com. We have the best basketball gear in the world. It's super high quality. And if you want to check out another basketball video, it's popping up. We will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.